Hobby. Well, that was, and um, to go back to the OC Spiros, uh-huh. um, that was a um, that was a hurdle we went through about two years ago, where right. the club really was kicking into high gear, and the world was taking notice, and we're like, okay, it's time to get serious. How many members are there now? So know? I was speaking with Fernando, um, I think it was last week, and we're, and we're somewhere hovering either just above or just below 200 right now. We're looking um, at a pretty significant expansion here in uh, well, 2020. Your, your, your group, though, OC Spiros and Friends right on oh, Facebook, that's, thousands. that's like 1,500 yeah. or something, right? Yeah, exactly right. So we have reached to them. Wow. And, and when you look at our other social media, if you look at Instagram or anything like that, I mean, the, the views and the likes that we get on Instagram yeah. are stupid. I mean... You know, like if we post a video on Instagram, it gets a similar amount of likes and views as, say, Spear Channel, which right. everybody knows is, yeah. you know, a big, really big Maybe, deal. Yeah. So as we started, you know, we were doing the right things and the gas got poured on the fire and uh-huh. we're like, it's time to get real now. So um, we went and we, we got an attorney to um, formalize our bylaws, formalize our corporate structure. And actually he was able to go in and petition for us to become a 501c3 uh, public benefit corporation, which means that um, initially the state denied us. Uh, they said that's not going to work, but it's California. And the IRS came back and said, "Yeah, no." They so they overruled the state's findings, and the IRS said, "Yeah, you guys absolutely absolutely are a public benefit entity." And what that means is that we the club makes no profit. Yeah, every dollar or every piece of gear or everything that we take in is given back to the membership in some way or another. Right. Uh, some sometimes through events. And, through and, events, yeah, 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 like subsidizing the cooking class. Like the right. cooking class was normally uh, would have if you just were Joe Schmo on the street would have been eighty nine dollars a person. We were yeah. able to do it for twenty eight dollars a member. Um, we've got a trip to Baja uh, coming in June, where we've got. Where? Uh, or is it like secret or what? No, you've been there. It's it's yeah. to Congrejos. Okay. Yeah, we're going yeah. to Con- Congrejos in uh, June, and we signed up 32 members over a period of, um, I think it's like 12 days. We'll be spacing them out over 12 days Yeah. for basically um, less than Pedro's cost because we're subsidizing. You know, right. like we have this we have this ability to get... Um, That's awesome. It's, yeah. It's what we're trying to do as a board. We work every single day, like... Um, I was having a discussion with Moran the other day and he's like, look, you got to understand that if this stops becoming fun, you're doing something wrong. Right. And my point was it doesn't, yeah, if it's, if it's a burden and if it's stressful and if it's yeah. killing you, then we're doing it wrong. But we do have a responsibility as a board to work our asses off. Everything turns into work eventually. For right? the community. Yeah. yeah. And, and we've it's built this. what you get out of that though. Is it worth it in the end? Right. I think so. Because I think like yeah. from a personal point of view is I'm somebody that I'm, I'm somebody where, um, we're not, you know, the board members, we make nothing from yeah. the club. But I get to look at the work that I put into it as turning into something important to the sport. Right. We're taking um, a lot of newer guys that don't, that, that don't know anything about it, and we're giving them the tools that they need right. to be able to get through, through the community and, and learn. Well, and, and, and diving to, um, there's, it's inherently dangerous, you know, and um, if you can have a way to teach people about how to be, you know, safer and learn from other people's mistakes. Mm-hmm. Um, what a great tool that is because I talked about it on the last one and it's like, I have made mistakes and I was fortunate to survive it or whatever, like mm-hmm. where I was like, well, that could have been really bad. Yeah. Um, and it's nice to be able to share that with people, mm-hmm. but when you're in a club, now you could share it with 200 people. That's exactly right. Yeah. 